Hello everyone. In this video, I will be showing you how you can get into the Sparrow race in the Scourge of the Past raid without completing the first encounter. This lets you get all the race buttons ahead of time. You will need to be a Warlock for this using Top Tree Dawnblade with Burst Glide. You will also need World Line Zero. If you do not know how to World Line Skate, you can find my guide for it by clicking the card above. Load into the raid and find this door on the first encounter. It will be opposite the Schnell building. Walk up the wires and using a sword swing get on top of the door. Crouch to drop down onto the ledge below behind the door and head to your right. Jump down and walk along the pipes until you reach this following location. Here we want to world line skate into the abyss. You want to aim in approximately the direction I do, although if you're not 100% accurate it is fine. You want to fly off your momentum, but save your jumps until you're about to go, or have just gone through, the black layer you fall through. You should land on top of a large pipe. Now we need to trigger the loading zone. You can do this by jumping onto your sparrow, but if the loading zone doesn't trigger, you can also run or slide around the pipes instead, and eventually you should be able to get it. I find it easiest to trigger along the edges, but be careful you don't slide off, as this will respawn you inside the wrong part of the sparrow race. This loading zone is important, because it'll make the sparrow race section appear. Head along the pipe until you reach this following location. For this jump, you will need to world line skate and also use your super. Transversive steps can help, but are not required. Get a running start and jump onto this pipe before world line skating towards the large black object across the gap. When you start to lose height, activate your super and using the dash button keep moving forward. Pace yourself with this or your super can run out before you reach the other side. When you land, you will be above the sparrow race section. Climb the mountain up towards the left, and there will eventually be an opening. This climb will be in complete darkness, but you can use rifts to create some light if you wish. If you have done all the steps correctly, you can head into the opening and end up inside the Sparrow Race. If you want to, you can go ahead and press all the buttons ahead of time now to make your race much easier. Once you've pressed the buttons, you can head to the end of the race. The door to the chest finish will remain locked even if you press all the buttons though, and blow yourself up to be teleported into the start of the race. Make sure to start it quickly though, to ensure the buttons will still register as pressed. Keep in mind that to trigger the death teleport into the first room, or to start the second encounter, your teammates will have needed to complete the first encounter while you were doing this. Doing it if the encounter has not yet completed will simply teleport you back into the same room, and also the punching door buttons will not work. And there you have it! The method you can use for breaking into the Scourge of the Past Barrow Race. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you all next time.